leadership wrangles in a church and in a riot. A church in Buruburu, Kenya, erupts in chaos. After a leadership dispute, the faithful leave the church in protest and quickly run out of control. The police are called in to deal with the distraught crowd. Who choose to fight for their faith. as opposed to taking the path of forgiveness. In Africa, the line between church and state is blurry. So when it comes to religion, disputes are handled politically. This usually involves a lot of noise. <laughs> A riot erupts. And the police show up. In the end, nothing gets done. In this church in Buruburu, Kenya, a church meeting leaves the congregation disturbed. Recently, about six years ago, when the current bishop was elected, we started problems and rambles. Bishop uh, Reverend Samuel Murezi Jobu. Uh, our pastor here is called uh, Stephen Kiburu, and they seem to have had leadership problems. The elected church bishop is being replaced by another. And the new guy is bringing his own people in. The problem is, some old members have been waiting to get positions in the church. I've been a member of this church for the last 16 years. There's no way somebody is coming to tell me that I can't be a member of a church. In Kenya, I know there's freedom of fortune. And they're not alone. After the announcement, the initial reaction is shock and grief. This quickly turns to anger. Marked by self-righteous outbursts. Jesus. 
The police are called in to clear Faithful from the church grounds. But they are not going down without a fight. Seeing the police, the crowd gets even more passionate. As far as they're concerned, the boys in blue are instruments of evil. So they spring into action, singing worship songs. And screaming their lungs out every time the police touch one of them. Imitating the Battle of Jericho, they seem to think that enough noise will wear down the cops. But that does not work. The police arrest several of them, including one who loudly states that he is a graduate. In Kenya, I know this freedom of worship. I go to university, I'm not scared. Let them kill me. I'm not afraid of them. After all, I glorify myself and I die for Christ. When I die for what I call But couldn't remember to wash off the incriminating paint covering his hand. Tired of the screaming, the police bring out the tear gas canisters. And the church goers quickly disperse. They have no defense against toxic fumes or prison bars. When we